I mean, so, you know, he can say what he want to say, bro. And, and you know, and, and yes, we have to be accountable. We do. But if you take a young dude from the streets, from the hood, who came from nothing, and you say, I give you a million in order to say this, to, to act this way, to do this, and to do that, you know, and you're a thug, but you're really what? You're really a coon, because coon is <laughs> this. <That's what> you- <laughs> right. Right. And so, you know, you know, we just we got to be honest about it. We can't just, you know, just let them people just throw stuff out and not deal with the root of each and every situation that Mm -hmm. we see ourselves in in 2022. So so that's my take on it, man. I don't know if I addressed it, but that that man, these these folks, man, they they (laughs) something else, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't want them, I don't want to start saying cuz and stuff like that. They something else, man. (laughs) Yeah, you don't want to disrespect like that, man. The banner's red on this channel. You you all right, blood. It's it's all it's all you know what I'm saying? Blue, Blue and red make blue and red make purple. You know what I'm <laughs> on, no, I agree. I agree with that, Sensi. What, what What are your thoughts, my brother? Because I want to tap in on this because I know Sensi's probably like, if Steve doesn't start getting intellectually honest, because I, you know, I got to come back at it a little bit. Go ahead, go ahead. So you know, uh, I've spoke on this a little bit before. I'm not gonna. I'm not one of the people that immediately jump out and say, you know, everything that is said in you know a rap song is said to promote that. Um, a lot of times, especially, you know, like you were mentioned, if you go back in time, a lot of it was stories. And I don't have a problem, particularly with people telling their stories on tape. I feel like if anything, that's is almost um, therapeutic for someone to do that. I think the big issue, like you mentioned before, though, was balance. So when you had so many different um, types of rap artists you know, so many different types of people showing you what it is to be different black or this type of black. And it all created a great balance. So I, you know, even for me in the early nineties, I could be a nerd and listen to Jay-Z and nothing he said then made me want to go out in the streets and do that, you Mm -hmm. know, or, you know, I could be in the streets and have appreciation for what De La Soul was saying, because it still makes sense to me. The issue that happened, like you said, was when there became a loss of balance, that's all you ever hear. So it's hard to say, you know, I don't want to be in the streets, but I understand your story. If all I'm hearing is drugs, guns, sex, street bullshit, basically, I have nothing else to balance me out. And, you know, like you mentioned, J. Cole or Kendrick, that's two people in like 30 years of music that we've had, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, there's no balance for anybody to say, okay, I like this and that. So I, you know, I can fall somewhere in between. I don't have to be this or that. And now it's just all that. And so they're, like you said, someone's controlling that, trying to influence us which way to be. So this is this is why I agree with you, brothers, both times. And I've said this. There are bad actors in the community, right? There have been bad actors in the community since the uh, flooding of Harlem and Compton and other key areas with crack cocaine. There's the coordinated attack on uh, the black family. There have been bad actors that have helped to get these things in. I agree with the assessment in regards to media 100 percent. Right. My issue is and I think you both touched on it. My issue with it is, though. Right. And I'm not going to you know, claim sainthood because some of the music I listen to, I'm like, man, this is, this is a cold verse. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, it's not representing well, but I always ask myself this question. True. It's being peddled and being funded by people. Right. And it's being marketed by a larger entity, but at what point, and I may be asking too much of someone that doesn't have the, a, a worldview like this, at what point do you say no you know what I'm saying? Like, if you you work in the substance abuse field like I do, Al, uh, Alvin, at a certain point, it's like, yes, I understand that you were put in a very, a very hard situation. Your family upbringing helped make it more accessible for you to probably become strong out on drugs. You have a genetic pr- uh, proclivity to it because your mother was hooked on drugs. But when we start helping people, we always start with, how can I help you to understand that you are doing things that are destroying you, right? And you start correcting their behaviors before unleashing them on the world. And so, and, that, and that's my that's my first point. The second point is, so we, I think that I think that now, 2022, because I agree with you guys, we have identified the root. 
this is where I disagree with some of my black socialist friends when they say black capitalism isn't the the you know it isn't the answer to our problems, you know, but it's a part of it, right? It's a part of the piece. If we're more in control of what's going on media wise and taking control of our own image and we have the dollars to do that, the only other thing we need now is to make sure that the black men or women who are leading this charge are also ethical.